heading out to the barn. I've got a uh, post here day to day. So it's supposed to be either deadlift or good morning. We're gonna work on the good morning, mostly with the safety squat bar and then do some accessories for the posterior chain. If you have never done good mornings, they are critical and can be absolutely critical to helping you get a better squat and a better deadlift. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today. All right, so when I move through a warm up for something like this, I like to do a lot of dynamic movement. So I'm gonna do a little bit of running on the treadmill and then I'm gonna practice some crossovers because I was really bad at those in the quarterfinals workout. So I just wanna get better at them. And then I'm gonna move into a couple more dynamic movements, specifically the wide stance good morning, since that's what I'm working on today. I'm gonna to work from a wide stance. So I'm gonna just do body weight, sumo stance or wide stance good mornings. And then also some reverse lunges to help uh, warm up my posterior chain. After that portion's finished, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing some static stretching. So bottom of the squat is typically every day for me. And then I'm gonna sit down and do the seated hamstring stretch. I'm gonna hold all of these for between 30 and 45 seconds. I'm not gonna go super long. I just want a little bit of a stretch before I start hitting my warm up sets. For the warm up sets, I'm using a safety squat bar. Today, it's just a little bit easier to handle when you're doing something like a good morning. It puts your shoulders in a very uh, easy position to hold, especially with the handles out front. Now you can do this with a regular barbell, but if you have the access to a safety squat bar, I would highly recommend this. Now, when I'm doing my warm up sets, I'm gonna do one set of between five to 10 reps with basically an empty barbell. And then I'm gonna start making some small jumps for sets of five and three. And then once I start getting that weight a little bit heavier, I'm gonna drop all the way down to single sets because I don't wanna waste a whole lot of energy there while I'm building up to what's going to be a heavy set of five for the day. I'm doing these warm-up sets I'm really working on trying to establish my range of motion get my body almost to parallel to the floor or my torso almost parallel to the floor and then having only a very slight bend in the knee now when I'm bringing my body back up I'm gonna focus on lifting at my chest as well as pushing my hips back forward so that my hips get in line with my knee and my shoulders come back in line with my hip and my knee as well big deep breath in each time before I go down bracing that midline When it comes to the working sets, I have kind of an idea of where I wanna be. I've been working on the heavy good morning for the better part of a year now, just to help increase, like I said, my uh, core strength. So my spinal erector, specifically when I'm back squatting, not just when I'm deadlifting. So I kind of have an idea of where I wanna be. Now I'm only gonna do heavy sets for sets of three, four, and five on the good morning. So I'm never gonna only go for a heavy single on the good morning. It's not something I'm normally gonna do. And uh, I'm not gonna go above sets of five. That's kind of out of the rep range and not gonna give me the stimulus that I really want. So I'm going for the highest rep range today of five and I have a pretty good idea of where I want to start. Now when I actually make an attempt at my heavy set of five, I'm only going to have two or three because the rep count of five is so high. So it's going to fatigue me a lot over the course of those three sets. So I'm going to focus on two to three sets, getting the heaviest weight possible while I maintain perfect form. Another thing I want to comment on is I'm doing a heavy set of five for today, that does not mean I'm going for a five rep max. I am not gonna go to failure. I'm gonna go to where I get a training stimulus. And so I've kept really good records and I have an idea of what my heavy fives, fours and threes are for this movement. So I wanna approach as close to that heavy set of five or try to jump by five pounds 
in order to get the training stimulus that I want. Now when I go for a max effort day or a uh, heavy single, heavy three, heavy five day, again, we're not going to failure. I'm going as heavy as I can go while I can maintain all the points of performance for the lift. The minute those points of performance start to deteriorate, if my back starts to round, if I start rolling up on my toes, if I start to know, notice uh, any of those deviations, I'm stopping at whatever that weight is or whatever weight was just before that and counting that for my set of five for the day. Working sets are done or the heavy set of five is done, so now we're gonna go to accessory work, and accessory work is mostly done under the loft in the barn, and it starts with the reverse hyper. The reverse hyper is probably one of the more versatile pieces of machinery you can have in here. I love using it for my hamstrings and my glutes. It takes me three or four reps to kind of get going, so it's gonna, before I actually count my first rep, I'm going to do three to four reps where I get the pendulum swinging a little bit, and then I'm gonna start counting. I'm doing three sets of 15 reps today. I also know the weights that I've been using for this so I can add a little bit of weight here as well as add some of that band tension to make the movement a little bit heavier. After that I'm focusing on hamstring curls. I'm using the low row attachment on the lat pull down machine that I have with the bench kind of up at a decline. So Hamstring curls can be a great addition, whether you're doing banded seated hamstring curls or you have access to a leg curl machine, or in this case, a low row will work with some ankle attachments that you can use for the cable. Three sets of 15 on this as well. The last accessory movement I'm gonna to use today or I utilize today is a isometric hold with a heavy sandbag. So just keeping my uh, torso upright, holding a heavy sandbag, and I'm gonna go for 10 to 15 second holds with the 200 pounder. If I can extend that time frame, then I will. This isn't something that I've done a whole lot with the sandbag. It is something I do, isometric holds or static holds in, uh, or with other movements, with squats, with the bench press, and it is a great, great way that you can develop a specific strength to help in your strength training. So for today, for the lower back, for that posterior chain, I'm gonna practice just holding on to that sandbag for 10 to 15 seconds. If I can go a little longer, then that's what we're gonna focus on as well. Guys, that's it for today. Any questions can go down in the comments below and we will see you next time.